I very much enjoyed your Lewisham fire report, by the way. Thank you. It didn't work out with Daniel Cleaver. No, it didn't. I'm delighted to hear it. Look, are you and Cosmo in this together? I mean, you seem to go out of your way to try to make me feel like a complete idiot every time I see you. And you really needn't bother. I already feel like an idiot most of the time anyway. With or without a fireman's pole. That'll be my taxi. Look, um, I'm sorry if I've been... What? I don't think you're an idiot at all. I mean, there are elements of the ridiculous about you. Your mother's pretty interesting. And, and you really are an appallingly bad public speaker. And um, you tend to let whatever's in your head come out of your mouth without much consideration of the consequences. I realised that when I met you at the turkey curry buffet that I was unforgivably rude and wearing a reindeer jumper that my mother had given me the day before. But the thing is, um, what I'm trying to say very inarticulately is that, um, in fact, perhaps despite appearances, I like you very much. <laughs> Uh, apart from the smoking, and the drinking, and the vulgar mother, and the verbal diarrhea. No, I like you very much. Just as you are. I, uh, I came to congratulate the new face of British current affairs. <laughs> but I see I, I may have come at a bad time. How's it look? Uh, great. It's, um, blue. <gasps> blue? No, but blue is good. If you ask me, there isn't enough blue food. Oh, shit. It must have been the string. No, it's string soup. <laughs> oh, God, they're going to be here any minute. Well, don't worry. I'm sure they'll come to see you and not to orange parfait and sugar cages. Just have a drink. Yes. <sighs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Did I really run round your lawn naked? Oh, yes. You were four and I was eight. Well, that's a pretty big age difference. It's quite pervy, really. Yes, I like to think so. What are we going to do about this dinner, then? We well, have blue soup to start, <laughs> orange pudding to end, and... Well, for main course, we have... Uh, Congealed green guns. That is cape berry gravy, oh, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have eggs? Yes. Right. I'll let it do this now. Ah! No, with cape berry gravy. You wouldn't by any chance have any beetroot cubes, would you? A mini gherkin, stuffed olive. No, Pam. And besides, I'm busy. Gravy needs sipping. Surely not just stir it, Una. On, Bridget. Close the door. Bridget. Close the door. What are you doing here? I just wanted to know if you were available for bar mitzvahs and christenings as well as ruby weddings. Excellent speech. I thought that you were in America. Well, yes, I was, but um, I realised I'd forgotten something back home. Which was? Well, I realised I'd gotten to um kiss you goodbye do you mind <sighs> not really no. so you're not going to america then no no not you're staying here so it would seem <laughs> Friends of yours? <laughs> uh, I do. I've never seen them before in my life. 
Look, are you coming to fucking Paris or not? Not. No fucking room anyway. No. Maybe we should just go upstairs for a minute. <laughs> it's a very good idea. There's only no room oh, for him go. either. Uh, After you bring it with him. <laughs> Close it down. Yeah. Turn with I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. I mean, I meant it. But I was so stupid that I didn't mean what I meant. Oh, for Christ's sakes. It's only a diary. Everyone knows diaries are just full of crap. I know that. I was just buying you a new one. Time to make a new start, perhaps. Are you dancing around in that tent business? <sighs> because I don't want you to see any of my wobbly bits. Well, now that's a bit pointless, isn't it? Because I happen to have a very high regard for your wobbly bits in all circumstances. Really? Absolutely. I think it's high time we had another look. I just wanted to tell Mr. Darcy here that I heard what magnificent work he actually did releasing me from prison. Tiny, tiny misunderstanding to do with an enormous stash of cocaine. <laughs> and I also wanted to say, since having found out that his girlfriend is actually a lesbian, <laughs> that I love him. Always have. Always will. And that I'm, you know, available for dates if you should feel so inclined. So, uh, your girlfriend is a lesbian? Look, if you'll all just excuse us for a second. That was not the most romantic proposition I've ever heard. Well, maybe it is romantic, because it's not. I mean, I know there's no music playing, and, and, and it's not snowing. But that doesn't mean that it, that it can't really be something. You're right. In fact, there's a question I've been meaning to ask you. All right. As long as it's not, will you marry me? Oh, God. It is, will you marry me? Well, I'm not going to say it now. I just spoiled the moment. Is it, will you marry me? Bridget, the moment's gone. Uh, no, 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 wait. Wait. Bridget. Start again. No. Start again. No, I'm not, I'm not going to, it's... We've just... Stepped out into the corridor, and you say, I've got a question to ask you, and I don't say anything. And then you say, Richard Jones, will you marry me? <laughs> 